Hi there, welcome to the hit map. My name is Darling the Nato Robot, and this is my lab. The HIT Lab is really an outward-facing research laboratory at the university. We engage with New Zealand and international organizations to help them solve problems that they have related to human-computer interaction. So for example, uh, somebody might come to us and they say, well, we really want to do something with virtual reality and firefighting, but we really don't know enough about the technology to make decisions. And so we know a lot about the technology and we know a lot about how to evaluating the goodness of different solutions. And we work with these domain experts to help them solve their problems. Our research is mainly focused around trying to make a difference, a difference in society, a difference in the way people learn or to help people break bad habits or become uh, well again. And so a lot of the direction for our research we take from groups or outstanding problems in society that could benefit from support from different types of technology. So to help people get motivated to eat healthier or to make learning easier or more engaging, they come to us with these problems that they're, that they're trying to solve and then the lab focuses on kind of the nitty gritty aspects of really trying to make these solutions that work. And so a lot of the research is really driven from problems from outside the lab. So, and we really like that because our students really feel like they're making a difference in the world and have real customers and things that they're working with. So this room is called the vision space. And this is where we do a lot of our user experiments. And what we have here is what we call the tactic cage. And the tactic cage is a multi-sensory virtual reality um, setup. We built two of these systems so we can do um, multiplayer or some people say multi-user experimentation where we might have one system that's set up in let's say London, another one that's set up here, and these two people are geographically in different places in the physical world but can share the same virtual world. And the idea is to see how we can support this kind of multi-sensory, multi-person collaboration at a distance. So now I'm here in the environment. You can kind of hear the floor vibration. I have a helicopter up here and I can um, hear the rotors of the helicopter and I can feel the ground shaking at the same time. Um, in addition, when I look around, I can see that I'm in the middle of a field with flowers. In this case, um, I have some lavender and I can actually smell the lavender um, that's being injected into the scene. Um, and all of this is done in concert so that it tries to mimic exactly the way things would be um, in, if I were to experience this um, in the real world. So if you think about the speed at which technology is advancing now, and there's often a very slow uptake into embracing these types of technologies and really understanding how we can benefit from them. We like to say we're the human interface technology lab. So we really start with the person and look at the problems that they have, the environment that they're in, and the type of person they are, old, young, disabled, abled, um, and these sorts of things, and then pull the right technologies to solve the problem, as opposed to being, let's say, a virtual reality lab that tries to solve your problem with virtual reality. It's much more of a pull kind of uh, approach than a push kind of approach. And we think that leads typically to better solutions because you're really focusing on the problem and not on the solution right from the beginning.